last over. The West Indies need a wicket. They'll get the single. Yuvraj comes into the strike. Ten off five. Bravo to Yuvraj. Ten needed. Off five deliveries. It's gone. That's four. Very, very difficult chance for ball. You really can't blame the keeper for that. It was a thick edge, a swing and an edge, and ball quite clearly going in the right direction and then having to change and couldn't get up. He isn't the tallest man in the game and perhaps even the shortest. A boundary reduces the target. Six of four deliveries. And Yuvraj is going to swing. That's for more. Yuvraj Singh. Just two now of three deliveries. Well, the previous one was an edge. This one came from the center of the bat. Could well be the shot of the match. Moves into the 90s. This is a stunning shot. Nothing really wrong with the delivery. Aimed at the block hole. He created that with Yuvraj Singh. And what a strike. Ninety-three, a one-twenty delivery is eight fours and a six for Yuvraj Singh, and the pressure now is on the bowling side. Two to win from three balls, and what it means is that the West Indies have to get Yuvraj out. A single will tie the match, but that's not going to be Yuvraj's aim. He wants to be there and get the winning runs. He doesn't want to subject the number 11 Patel to any of the building. We've had two boundaries in succession, a single to Patel off the first ball. Yuvraj has found the boundary twice. Nine have come off the first three deliveries. And can the West Indies close the deal? They have uh, been found wanting so frequently in the past when they've got themselves in this kind of position. Here we go. Bravo to Yuvraj. West Indies have won, slow ball, oh my goodness gracious, miracle, absolute miracle. Dwayne Bravo is the hero, from zero to hero for Dwayne Bravo, being struck by Yuvraj for two successive fours, celebrations all around Sabina Park, and Yuvraj is stunned. Three to win. Price, it's got in, it's done. The end of the fine innings, three balls to be bowled, three runs, and Carl Rackerman will make his way to the wicket. What a finish, what a match. Moxana done hitting across the line, judged LBW for 39. Imran Khan to Carl Rackerman. Swing and a miss. Oh, the pressure mounts. Wasn't a good delivery. Wasn't a good shot. Well, the style was there, but wasn't any contact. In comes Imran Khan. Bowling! Wow, what a finish. Recommend clean ball by Imran. One ball to be bowled. Two runs for victory, and it's going to be the veteran Terry Alderman to face the music. What a finish as Alderman takes guard. Into card on the Pakistan manager. He's bringing his fields in a couple of places at deep bit wicket. Where is Jarvin? Oh, the 12th man, Shawhead Muhammad's coming out on the field. There was a message, he's been sent back. <laughs> That's all happening at the Sydney Cricket Ground, and there's nobody at mid wicket. The last delivery from Imran to Terry Alderman. And he's missed it. 
So it's all over. Great victory for Pakistan and a real crippling on by two runs. No one straight. Sweeper on the offside. Should be just the one. It is. Three from five. I think that's a nervous. Boucher up. Looking for one. Can someone get back to the stumps? No, they can't. So they've scrambled a single. Got to be straight. It's the only way the Shaw Langer can get through this. Two or four. Bowling. Brilliant stuff from Shaw Langer. It's a lazy swing from Ian Bradshaw. It's all about a bit of tension in the middle right now. And Charles Langerfeld has done an outstanding job by picking up the eighth wicket. Full delivery, Bradshaw guilty of playing across the line. Straight in at Midland, Midland off, hitting leg. Bradshaw playing straight across that one. Didn't play anywhere near it. So the West Indies need two from three balls and they've got two wickets in hand and Darren Powell is on strike. Graham Smith has just had a chat with the batsman of the non-strikers then, which is Bravo, and said, I'm giving you a warning now for backing up, so don't try and scamper out of that crease. Powell on strike. Langerfeld again. From Shaw Langerfeld, two wickets and two balls. West Indies have lost their ninth wicket now. Powell disappears back to the change room. Remember, it's all about the West Indies staying alive in this series and South Africa winning the series if they get up in this game. Brilliant stuff from Langerfeld. And it continues. Straight on the stumps, Darren Powell just having a wild swing at that and get a big ball. I really. Two runs from two balls. Shaw Langerford is also on a hat trick just to add something else into the equation. Corey Collymore on strike. And he's got a hat trick, I'm sure. That's out. He's got it. South Africa have won the match, they've won the series as well. Shaw Langerfeld has been absolutely sensational. The celebrations have begun. They'll go on for hours and hours, maybe even days from the South Africans. The West Indians are absolutely destroyed. It is a hat-trick for Shaw Langerfeld. What an amazing finish. Amazing is not the word. Australia's Bruce Reid could not manage a single bot. Right on middle stump. Oh, that's a wide, is it? Oh, it must be very close. Umpire Steve Randall under enormous pressure. The crowd are booing, and rightly so. That was very close. Pringle. Reed. Get to the wicketkeeper. He stops it. Four balls remaining. Two runs required. Surely Pringle can get one on the stumps. Big, tall, gangling Reed on strike. In comes Pringle to Reed. He'll go over mid wicket if he goes anywhere. He cuts straight to right at point. Oh, it's a nerve tingler here at Bell Reeve. And surely they need a bat pad now because they'll go for anything now, Australia. They certainly will. Right swings and misses, and, and in comes the wicket keeper. That's good keeping, but surely now that square leg or somebody must come in close to the stumps. The pressure is on. Reed on strike. Swings and he misses. They don't run, so there's one ball. So it's now up to Bruce Reed. They have to score two runs to win. How would you like to be Bruce Reed, Ian? Well, I tell you what, Latham's too deep, I reckon. Uh, they can get two to him at deep point. Willie Watson and Morrison dropping back just outside the circle. In they come. The final delivery of what's been a great match. He's missed it, and it's victory. He's run out, so New Zealand get two points. What a win. What a surprise. What a sensation. What a result. Run out as Bruce Reed off the final delivery. And here we go then, the start of the 50th over. Away goes Matthew Hart.
and it'll be up to Richard De Gruen and to Chris Pringle. Well, it's just here we go. And here, this is the uh, this ball was just beating with pace there. A little bit of a way swing, but uh, beating with pace. Big three. Well, Wacker Yunus has five for 28. It's his day. I have never seen Millet take so much time as he's done in this game to rearrange and has to bowl that quicker ball. happening out there but certainly the game was a little dull to start with today but uh, the crowd have certainly got their money's worth in the last hour and a half or so everything's happening out there it's just like a circus Sully Malik can't believe that New Zealand have crept up to a tying position with an overthrow here we go Waka Yunus LBW, no run out. We're still in the time situation. Well, as I said, uh, look at this. That ball there, well, uh, obviously pitched outside the line. Uh, the ground, he was off. But Pringle didn't want anything to do with it. But of course, there's still four balls to go, so there's plenty of time as Pringle around. You might slip on away for one. And no doubt he'll be aware of that too. Look at those Pakistani fielders now. Everyone up in the ring. See that often in one day game. Another LBW, yes, he's out. He's got the LBW, the game is tied. Had the chick I call it Lola. She feel like the ocean. Like to drink and smoke some doja. And I feel like smoking. Plus she good that charming. Had the chick I call it Lola. She feel like the ocean. Like to drink and smoke some doja. And I feel like smoking. Plus she good that charming.